Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today we'll be talking about the Galaxy Buds Plus after 48 hours. So what are my thoughts after using the Buds Plus for two days? Well, spoiler alert, it is way better than the original in every single category. So first let's talk about the call quality. This is where really the Buds Plus shine versus the original. Now the original Galaxy Buds, they only had two mics, one on the inner and one on the outer. The inner mic is what picks up my voice and it makes sure that that is the distinctive voice that they hear on the other side with the outside mic canceling out that sound. Or if you're using ambient sound, it'll kind of pull it on in. Now the Buds Plus 2, they have one mic on the inside, still doing the exact same thing, but two mics on the outside which is a way that you're able to kind of take more of that sound out and also maybe even bring in that sound if you have the ambient sound on so i'd have to say that with the galaxy buds original i never really used it for phone calls because the call quality just really sucked like i could hear them but it was really hard for them to hear me because the active noise cancellation was just not there the cancellation mic of the outside noise. Um, also too, it just sounded like I was muffled, so I never really kept both in my ears just because I sounded like I was talking louder and it was all muffled. Now, when it comes down to the Plus, uh, these ones was able to have ambient sound where I can hear myself perfectly fine and it canceled everything out. Now, I tested this in the car, I was at the gym, I went to the grocery store, I held phone calls, I even asked my friend Brett, I'm like, hey, how does this sound? Uh, and he didn't really hear too much. There's a little bit of wrestling kind of around but I was at the gym with five or six different treadmills going I had the fan that was going on my breath was also breathing a little bit heavier and he didn't really know at all that I was at the gym but when it was the Galaxy Buds original then it was completely noticed I take it out every time I'm at the gym if I'm on a phone call and I just use the phone so I'd have to say you know I kind of rambled a little bit but I wanted to explain it the call quality is fantastic and now when it comes down to the sound when you listen to music it does such a great job because again there is actually two speakers inside of the little earpiece um, for the Galaxy Buds Plus one of them is for subwoofer and the other one is for tweeter now, one question I got on some of my original Galaxy Buds videos is, well, is it louder? Like we get that it sounds better, but is it louder? And the answer is yes, but you have to use the correct ear tips. Now, when it came down to the wing tips and the ear tips, I did go to the largest size that was in there. So it could, so it could be really snug with the ear, keep all the sound in, all the rest of it out. And yeah, it is actually louder. There, uh, with the original Galaxy Buds, it felt like I needed to hit the volume up either one or two more times. But with the Galaxy Buds Plus, it is pretty much perfect. I don't think I need to bring it down, but I also definitely don't need to bring it any higher. Now, another thing I love about it is going to be the battery life. So with the battery life, it is going to be almost double the original Galaxy Buds. The original Galaxy Buds was able to have a, a one charge in the Buds going for six hours. Now the Galaxy Buds Plus is 11. So going from six to 11 hours is a pretty big increase. Now, another thing I love too, if we go with the overhead shot here, when you open up the original Galaxy Buds, so it is connected to the Galaxy Note 10 Plus over here, when you basically open it up, there's not really gonna be much animation. Now, sometimes you will see an animation that will you know, kind of pop up when you open it, probably for the second time. So this is a little animation, it's kind of dull, doesn't even show the battery of the case. Even if you go inside of the Galaxy wearable application, it is not showing you what the case is sitting at. But when it comes over to the Galaxy Buds Plus, the animation of just you know opening it up, you can just see how beautiful that is. There's more to it and you can see the case battery life. So let's say that we go inside of the Galaxy wearable application. This is where you can see each bud and you can also see the case. Now also too, you can see a change with the ambient sound. So if you have it turned on, you can have it low, medium, as well as high. Uh, you can either have it on and you can have it off. Now down over here, you have six different options for your equalizer. You have normal, bass boost, soft, dynamic, clear, as well as treble boost. Uh, and then you also have, you know, where you can set up your notifications. You can change up the touchpad. You can go underneath advanced and inside of advanced. This is one of the great things you can turn on, which is using the ambient during phone calls. So the original Galaxy Buds does not have that. So you will be muffled. You're not gonna really hear everything around you. Uh, you can still find your earbuds and you can even go through the labs 
Now with the labs, this is also something that is pretty cool. Uh, you can have a gaming mode set up for your Galaxy Buds Plus. You can also add extra high ambient volume if you want it to be just a little bit higher of that ambient sound that is around you. And you can also double tap the earbud edge for the volume. So if you were to tap on the right side twice, right up in the corner, you're gonna bring up the volume. And then a double tap on the left side will bring down the volume, even though your touchpad is set up for something completely different. So I have my right for the ambient sound and the left for voice command. And this one is going to be the touch and hold options. So now if we close this one up over here, I'm gonna get out of that application. Now let's open up the original Galaxy Buds and let me just show you a few things of, you know, what it looks like inside of the Galaxy wearable application. So you can see again, uh, the animation is, is pretty dull, really nothing there. Now let's go inside of the Galaxy wearable application. Uh, let's move over into Galaxy Buds. And with this one, you can see that you have one, two, three, four, five options, but this is where it's gonna be normal. So technically all six is there. You just have to tap it right there. Uh, you can look at your notifications. Here is your touchpad. So this is what you can do, you know, for the left and the right. Uh, when you scroll down, you're not gonna have the ambient sound really, you know, during phone calls, that's not there. The Galaxy Labs also isn't there, you know, so you're really getting a lot, even with the application itself is gonna be quite a bit different. Now, another feature to talk about with the Galaxy Buds Plus is the multi-device connection. So right now it is connected to my cell phone and the tablet, but one of the things that I, I don't know if there's gonna be an update for the application or if I'm doing this one correctly, but really the best way I found out where I'd be switching from the cell phone over to the tablet is that let's say that I'm, you know, I'm still connected, we go inside of YouTube, we play this video, and so this is where it's actually coming out of the Buds. Now, if we were to hit on pause, let's say I get out of that, when I head over to my tablet, I'm gonna go inside of my, my wearable application here and it automatically connected. Now, I don't know if you have to always go into it like this. This is the best way that I've done it just to make sure that it is connected and I can go through and I can change some of my settings. So closing off this video with just a high overview of all the different categories. So does it have a better sound? Yeah, it actually has a better sound quality and it's a little bit louder, but you wanna make sure that you have the correct ear tips and the wing tip inside of your ear. If you have one that's just too small, it's not gonna be snug and it's not gonna be as loud. The call quality, the, the Galaxy Buds Plus, this is where I really see this thing shining because the original just sucked so bad and this one was fantastic where I can actually wear it when I'm out and about, I don't have to take it off, I can hear people around me, I can have conversations and I can do phone calls in the car and also the gym. Battery life, it's almost double the battery life. With one single charge, you're able to go from you know six hours, um, this one right over here is 11 hours, and when you put them into the case, you're going from 13 all the way up to 22. And then the very last one is going to be the multi-device connection where you don't have to unpair and then repair and do that all that type of stuff. Just one little connect button, and then you're already connected to that second device that you're looking for. But I hope that you guys have liked this video. Hopefully it kind of helped you out. Maybe it kind of, you know, answered a few questions. Is it worth getting the Galaxy Buds Plus? You know, if you're not getting a pre-order where you get it for free, and if you are getting it for free, is it better? Is it louder? Yes, it is, especially the call quality. A huge fan of that and the battery life. Between those two right there, you're going to just love the Galaxy Buds Plus. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll like the other video on the other side. And I'll see you guys later.